Now let us see how we can try and remember why it is that when the second derivative of the function has a negative value, we have a we have a maximum point, and within has a positive value, we have a minimum point. We had worked this out. We had found the nature, the location and nature of this, the, the, the critical points or the stationary points or the turning points of this um, function and did some amount of sketching of the graph. And now what we want to do is try and remember why when we have the second derivative giving us a negative value it's a maximum point and when it's gives us a positive value it's a minimum point all right so let's see what happens let us get a tangent line to this curve all right we have our tangent line Let's make some changes in terms of the thickness and color. Let's make this tangent line a bit bluish. All right? And make it very thick. Good. Now, as I move the tangent line along the curve, you see that the gradient of the tangent is positive, but it is the reducing is going down now right at the critical point there we have a horizontal line I'm trying to get it horizontal but it's kind of difficult but for our intents and purposes it's a horizontal line so the gradient at that point is zero now you notice as we move from left to right the gradient is reducing. It's from positive to negative. It's now negative after you pass the critical point. The gradient turns negative. So right at this point is a maximum. It's approaching the negative. So the second derivative when you substitute the value of x at that point if you have a negative it works out negative then you have a maximum point because that is where the gradient is going it's going to towards the negative <coughs> right now let's see what happens at the other point as you move from left to right the gradient is negative but it's swinging upward it's becoming positive right the gradient is negative it's going in the positive direction it's increasing at the stationary point it's going to be horizontal zero gradient and then after you pass the stationary point going to the right it swings upwards positive so here it's turning from negative to positive so that's why when you find the second derivative and substitute the x coordinate at this point and you get a positive value then it's a minimum point because the reason as you move horizontally from left to right the, the gradient the derivative, second derivative, the gradient is swinging in the positive direction. It's going positive, all right? So you see that? All right, before we end this, notice at some point, the gradient of the line swings. The gradient line swings so that the gradient is more and more negative, but it's slowing down 
and then at some point it stops and starts to swing to the positive direction right you see down and then swing so the swinging is negative then it stops and then start to swing back towards the positive the point at which that occurs you should remember that is called a point of inflection right within this region here is a point of inflection all right so those are the things that we wanted to look at in this video so that will be it for now any questions comments and so on put them in the comment section and i will see you later